they go up. Now it, the pressure's back on, on Wake Forest. Quick hitter Newman to Kendall Hinton. In the face of Jamie Newman, which I think they're going to start mixing this thing up defensively a little bit. Newman for Hinton makes a man miss. Kendall Hinton so slithery. Linebacker of the year last season, highest grade among college linebackers. He's got 22 because Wake's run a whole lot of plays. And this is another one to Hinton for a first down, winning the battle outside. That was a good Memphis football team. So first and 10 for Newman and a strike to Kendall Hinton on the first play, upended near the 30 yard line. That's the way to start it, 19 yards. Newman to throw it. Hinton high points it, comes down with it, and gives Wake Forest the lead. His fifth year with a touchdown at Wake Forest, none of them bigger than this. The slot receiver to replace Dorch. What a catch. And what a throw. Well, they get picked off. And Washington actually comes open inside. Deep. What they do together more than anything is play video games. They play basketball virtually. Was picked up. Newman on the outside. Complete for a first down. Who we forced to attack. Quick on the outside. Hinton gets a block. Five yards on the reception. John Lamont downfield to make the stop. 14th play of this drive, third and four. Hinton makes the catch and picks up the first down. Empty backfield for Newman. Hinton in stride. Inside the 30-yard line, down to the 30, right at the 30-yard line, 26 yards. DC backs off the pressure. Newman trying to hit his receiver and does. In the double coverage, Hinton comes down with it, a nine-yard pickup and a first down. Knowing where his wide receiver can get to it, and there's nothing Joe Sparacio can do. In their dime, you know, third and long defense, they don't want to be living in that. They, they want to be able to, to be in a situation where they're, they're, they're playing tempo. Hinton will bust free after the catch. Kendall Hinton, another very dangerous receiver. And they're going to move the chains. You just see the bunch look here. And as Newman decided to kind of move around. They want to get it and go. Last two seasons, it's really worked tremendously well. The most prolific offensive years in Wake Forest history. And this season, at this pace, Tim, they're going to beat that. Wake Forest's largest deficit they have faced this season. Believe it or not, Newman, time to throw. Here's it out here to Hinton. Trying for the sideline. He's taken down. Let's get down to Katie. Third and 19 for Newman. Time in the pocket. Looks to the middle. And caught. Complete by right to Hinton. And he threw a bullet to him for the completion. Previous play. Yeah, you look at the previous play. It's great pass protection. Only a three-man rush. Part of the reason he has so much time. Had the penalty earlier. And then a nice shot at Beal Smith at winding that one back. First and 10. Newman to fire. And complete. That one caught by Hinton. The fake to Beal Smith. He will throw and complete. Hinton in traffic for nine yards. For two weeks in a row, pretty much been lights out. He really has. Louisville with a 100-yard kick return for a touchdown. A 50-yard punt return to set up a touchdown. Here's Hinton for a couple of tacklers to the 40-yard line. About 370, maybe now. Down to 370. Which yeah. maybe he means he was he was over it at one point. But a tremendous athlete. A gain of 11. Hartman time to throw, unloads, and that's complete. Caught by Hinton. Hinton taken down inside the 30 yard line. Led them to that stunning victory. They lost by three. Very confident performances mentioned. And he will zip the pass here to Hinton. Trying to get to that first down, and still bullying ahead. As will Dean finally taking him down, but a first down. As you said, probably just to stay warm more than anything else. Back to throw Hartman. Good protection. Rifles it, and a big hit, and a completion to Hinton. Crumbled to the turf there. 
Pocket collapsing, and now Hartman running for his life. He'll throw, and boy, a tough play there. Hinton hauling that one in on a completion. Seven-yard gain. Yeah, and it's a really nice second reaction play by Hartman, and then you just see Grudenthal got tangled up, and they miss Hinton on a speed out. Well, Sam Hartman is not the runner that Jamie Newman is. He needs to start making plays in the passing game, and oh, my word, look at that catch by Kendall Hinton. One-handed grab by the senior. Look at this. This is outstanding because it's a terrible throw by Sam Hartman. One minute to go in the third. First down and 10 for Wake Forest. Hartman, time to throw in the pocket. Down the middle and Hinton with another good play as he leaps up for the first down catch. Wake Forest did do considerable work on wet footballs leading up to what they knew would be a very sloppy night complete to Kendall Hinton.